Your Natchez History Minute is brought to you by Natchez National Historical Park. On this day, May 7, 1840, the second deadliest tornado in the United States history struck the city of Natchez, killing more than 317 people. The massive tornado formed southwest of the city shortly before 1 p.m. and moved northeast along the Mississippi River. It followed the river directly, stripping forest from both shores. The vortex struck Natchez under the hill, tossing 60 flatboats into the river, drowning their crews and passengers. Other boats were picked up from the river and thrown onto the land. The landing was devastated, with the almost total destruction of dwellings, stores, steamboats, and flatboats. The storm then roared up the bluff and across the town of Natchez. Various witnesses reported that the air was black with whirling eddies of walls, roofs, chimneys, and huge timbers from distant ruins, all shot through the air as if thrown from a mighty catapult. The central and northern portions of Natchez were almost completely destroyed. Forty-eight people were killed on land and 269 others were killed on the river. The storm also struck rural portions of Concordia Parish, Louisiana, as well. The Mississippi Free Trader stated that people have come in from plantations 20 miles distant in Louisiana, and the rage of the tempest was horrible. Hundreds of slaves killed, dwellings swept like chaff from their foundations, the forest uprooted, and the crops beaten down and destroyed. Never, never Never was there such desolation and ruin. Hi, I'm Janet Sullivan. I'm a member of the Tricentennial Committee, and this has been your Natchez History Minute.